Hello, it's me again. Uh, wow, I'm starting to feel the effects of the booze, the beer. I love it. Uh, I set out, set out on a mission tonight because I, I think I read a few people said they'd never been drunk off their own home brew. So I said, well, screw it. I'm going to do it. Um, this video pour is of um, the Dubliner. It is far from being fully conditioned, but after drinking one the other night, um, wow, what a great beer. The, um, the ingredients are um, one can of St. Patrick's Irish Stout, one can of creamy brown unhot malt extract, uh, one packet of Glacier Pellet Hops, these were dry hopped in fermenter, um, one half cup of dark brown sugar, two cups of oatmeal, and instead of doing the Mr. Beer Yeast, I used the uh, Safe L US05, and that may have put the nail in the coffin because this, um, I think, turned out really well. Oh, you hear that? That is a good sounding um, carbonation. We're going to pour it in here. The problem with pouring it down the middle on the stouts for me is that it takes entirely too long to get the head down far enough where I can really drink it and enjoy it. Um, so we got to wait for it for a second. The head is, um, you know, it's kind of mixed. There's some big bubbles in there. There's some very small bubbles in there, but as you guys can see um, from the size of the glass, it's very, well, it looks more big now than anything, but it's going to clear up nicely. Let's go um, ahead and stick the rest of that in there. There we go. Keep the yeast out, the yeast in the sediment. Um, got some new Guinness glasses from Spencer's. I'm trying not to shake the damn table too much because it makes the camera get all crazy on me. So uh, let's give it a smell. See the ring? So I don't know how to pour it. Well, there's a delay because I'm moving now. And I think, anyway. Boy, that is good. There's nothing else to describe that but good. Um, only a very slightly roasty flavor. Uh, it's hard for me to believe that this beer isn't done yet because that's delicious. Um, very full mouthfeel. The oatmeal in this beer, um, I can tell, added quite a bit. It was boiled for 10 minutes. Um, God, that's just a really good beer. The problem with this beer is that I really want my guests to enjoy it on St. Patrick's Day. And uh, that's still three weeks away. Let's put this back in. Let's showcase this bad boy. It's very dark. If I hold it up, um, now I'm not using any natural light source and it's night out, but this is a black beer. And uh, I, I really enjoy the malty character from this beer. Uh, it only has just the the slightest hop aroma. Otherwise, you're really getting that roasty aroma. It's it's very fulfilling. It's just an all-around good beer. Um, I, I like I, I indicated in another video. I may not do Mr. Beer batches um, very much longer, but I do want to try the Sticky Wicket now because if it's anything like this beer or better. I can't imagine a better stout. So, um, anyway, cheers.